click on start icon then in the search bar type task manager click here to open it on this window click on file then select run new task on this window click on browse button now we need to select this PC then open C drive now just scroll down and open Windows folder from here we need to open this folder then just scroll down and search for cmt.exe select this and click on open after that simply check this box and click on ok it will open command prompt window so we already have a list of commands to make it easy for you and to avoid mistakes simply open google chrome then type here google.com and hit enter now in the search bar type house.tech windows commands and click here to open it now click on this link which is from www.house.tech on this window just scroll down and search for command number 12 so copy this command simply click on this right click and select copy now go back to command prompt window and right click on command prompt to paste and hit enter to execute it after that copy command number 13 go back to command prompt window right click on black area and simply paste that and hit enter to execute it once done close this command prompt window click on search icon and type here cmd run as administrator select s now type this command carefully sfc space slash scan now and hit enter this command will take some time to complete its process once done close the command prompt window again go to search bar open command prompt again run as administrator now these commands are really important so to avoid mistakes you will get all these commands from the description below copy them and paste on command prompt and hit enter to execute them Once done, close the command prompt window. Again, go to search bar and type registry editor. Click here to open it. Select as it will open register window. Now go to file and export. Type here backup. Select save. Then expand HK local machine. Expand system folder expand current control set then control folder scroll down then session manager folder and memory management on the right side right click on and delete it finally restart the system which is very important before you do that like this video god bless